The left over is only 75,000 rupees. In fact, for agriculture and allied sectors, and also agriculture research, which is 1.5 percent. You look look at the I think since independence, if you take any annual budget, maybe nearly 80 annual budget, this is the lowest allocation for agriculture sector. Lowest, and I use this word. Some BJP guy challenged it. I, I also challenged. You comment. I'll show you the data. It's official data. I have not created anything. BJP is good in creating new numbers, but I, I don't have that capacity. So only 1.5 percent. If you take out that Prime Minister Kisan Samman Yojana's allocation of 75,000 from the 1.5 lakh crores, just 1.5 percent, where 46 percent is employed employment. It's increasing, as Professor D. N. Argar was telling. It is now 46 percent employment, uh, which is increasing. It was just less than 40 percent. Now it is going up, which is a, a, not a good sign. So I think that's the first point, sir. Second, as already you mentioned, education health was totally so missed from the budget. Maybe you have to see the numbers, maybe some salary compound here and there. So I think there is no social justice, there is no inclusion. Uh, I think we have to take this budget uh, very seriously. And coming to agricultural research, they have mentioned first time, they are going to privatize right. agricultural research. Now ICR is going to be right. maybe privatized. I don't know who, who they are going to bring them as a... 10% uh, or 20%, they will start very slowly. Maybe uh, we have more than 100 uh, agricultural, re agricultural research institutes under ICR. Most of them were established between 1965 and 75. These were established not by any uh, new governments after 75. Most of them, 90%. Okay. And these research institutions contributed significantly to the national food security and transformed the overall economy. And such a very powerful economic drivers, agricultural research is going to privatize. It was already given hint in the yesterday's budget. I think we have to take these things uh, Thank you. seriously. Thank you. Uh, he has given me one more uh, point to add, actually, the direction. In fact, what has been done in the agriculture budget allocation, and the first thing that is mentioned by the finance minister is, that they are going to transform research in agriculture by entering into that of uh, understanding with that private foreign institutions as well. Last week, all of us have signed a memorandum. There's uh, many agriculture scientists from across the country. I am also one of the signatories. If you look at, let's say, last issue of uh, Down to Earth, there are already 10 MOUs entered by the Ministry of Agriculture through that of Indian Council of Agriculture Research with foreign private corporate entities. So this is, this is again, that's completely the whole, right from down to zero to that of research. In fact, that's Rana Janaya knows that one of the best institutions, although they are not visible because most of the things done by the ICA or research institutions doesn't come to the public. They are also frustrated that they are not pushed as a policy and dissemination. It stays there. Therefore, e budget law, on the one hand, she mentions that it will be in collaboration with foreign uh, entities. On the right side, they are going to release 26 new varieties of climate resistant uh, seed varieties. All these are developed by ICA. And that's the capacity in the ICA. You are trying to bring somebody else to take credit or let's say take the germ plasma and if they collaborate. This is the danger. This is happening. Private entry into that of ICA just not needed. It's such a competent kind of a uh, research organization, they, they would live here in this country. This is the first step on it. Anyway, thank you. It also adds the process that is happening here. <coughs>